Hi, this video is going to be about population genetics and today I prepared two easy questions for you and I hope if you would stop video here, read the questions and answers, you would be able to choose the correct answer and uh, anyway you can uh, always run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So here is the first question or statement. Assortative mating would act to, and there is four answers that uh, you may choose from. Answer A, change in the allele frequency. Answer B, increase heterozygosity. Answer C, decrease heterozygosity. And answer D, remove the dom dominant allele from the population. And uh, assortative mating uh, means that there is some preferentials. For example, um, peacock female may prefer uh, male with uh, most bright tail or uh, with uh, particular colors and uh, it can be applied to any community and society even uh, for humans we also uh, do assortative matings uh, for example we prefer our own race or uh, males prefer uh, females that is shorter than males and vice versa. Uh, females prefer someone who is uh, um, taller than them uh, and people of the same educational background prefer each other and uh, the same ethnicity. So uh, there are always assortative mating on the different uh, levels of everything and in different uh, societies and communities. And always uh, this would change allelic frequency. We can uh, say that uh, sometimes it can increase heterozygosity, sometimes it can decrease heterozygosity or remove dominant or recessive allele from the population so we don't know that depends uh, on the particular situation but what we can uh, say for sure that such behavior would uh, change the allelic frequency so the answer would be a second question the frequency of the homozygous dominant genotype is 0 0.40 and the frequency of the homozygous recessive genotype is 0 0.20 in population then the frequency of the heterozygous genotype is and here is the three answers uh, that you may choose from and uh, if you don't know how to answer this question let me remind you Hardy-Weinberg formula the frequency of the uh, three genotypes that is possible when we have two alleles there uh, can be expressed as p squared plus 2 pq plus q squared and all this equals to 1 and for the p squared uh, stands homozygous dominant genotype for the 2 pq stands heterozygous genotype and for the Q squared stands for uh, homozygous recessive genotype. And all the alleles P plus all the alleles Q in this formula, if we add them up, and for the P stands all the alleles that is dominant A, and for the Q all the recessive alleles. So uh, once again, if we add uh, them up, we are going to get one. Because uh, here in this formula, uh, actually, those we have three genotypes, but uh, we have only two types of alleles. So this is would be the first capital A and capital A here, where we have it in heterozygous form, and also we have a small allele A or heteros uh, recessive allele uh, that is also present in two forms in homozygous 
recessive and in heterozygous, but as you see, only two alleles present here. So uh, these two alleles, if we add them up, would give us uh, total frequency one. So if we know frequency of the homozygous uh, dominant, that is zero point four, according to um, our problem. If we know the frequency, so this would be homozygous dominant. If we know the frequency of the homozygous recessive, that is 0 0.20, so 0 0.2. And we know that uh, all these frequencies should equal to 1. Uh, it is easier to tell the frequency of the heterozygotes. So we have... Uh, 0 0.4 here plus 0 0.2 plus x here, all this equals to 1. So uh, heterozygous frequency would be 0 0.4 according to this formula. So frequency would be 0 0.4 or 0 0.40. So the correct answer would be C. And this is all for today. I hope you solve uh, both problems correctly. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Goodbye.